don't see a child that will not want to come to a school like this. When you talk of, you know, high level of uh, children not going to school, it's not a school like this. The child will be dreaming of school in here. So that's what I think Akwaibom deserves. And that's what we'll get across the length and breadth of this state. As much as God gives us grace, gives us the fund, we will continue to invest in education, health, tourism. We'll continue to pursue the Arise agenda. I feel happy and um, the contractor is working to time. He had it 12 weeks. This is the eighth week. And um, we pray that there will be good weather so you can wrap You've seen how this place looks like now. We took over the site barely two months ago. Monday made us eight weeks exactly on site. And uh, this is the American Wonder Primary School His Excellency promised. It has features of crutch. As you can see, we're already fitting the crutch. We're going to furnish it with children tablets. It has a flat screen on the wall, so that's to, to make sure that learning is easy for the young lads. And like His Excellency said, the major aim of this model school is to give our young children a kind of education that is obtainable anywhere and everywhere in the world. That level of government revived. He wants the out of school children uh, to be a matter of history, and this is the way to do it. Our people must be gainfully employed. Our young people, our children must be well groomed because they are the future. And I feel that as corporate organizations come into the state, they key into what we're doing, their names are written in gold. We're not asking them to give us the money. We are simply saying, look at the model we have put on the ground, adopt it and uh, as part of your corporate social responsibility. And I know that Mr. Mohit here, uh, I had to bring him personally so he sees that. That's what I meant by doing a model. People need to see what you're talking. You walk the talk. So that's why we came here before we go into the meeting so he can make up his mind whether to do one, two, three, depending on what their management can do. We're not pressurizing them. We're just appealing to them that please support us. Let's help our children. Let's help people in those local communities. As you all know, I am a rural person. I want to develop the rural areas. And they are based in the rural areas. So I'm just asking for partnership. This government is less than five months old. In less than five months, to see what His Excellency has been able to achieve in this model school is simply remarkable. It's simply remarkable. We are totally bought into His Excellency's Arise agenda. We are going to evaluate the projects that will come in each of the LGAs. And I'm committing to His Excellency today and to all Aqua Ibomites that we will take one or more projects in Aqua Ibom. Right now, we are doing projects in Eastern Obolo, um, on the Western Axis and Eastern Axis of Eastern Obolo. But our footprint is across Aqua Ibom. And we commit that we will create development over here, we will create infrastructure and help the social environment for Akwa Ibomites to benefit. Again, we're asking the community to please continue to give support so that this project will be realizable. The benefit is enormous. I'm just interested in peace in our state because under that atmosphere we're going to have a whole lot of development. 
and today it is a missing of Bolo. Tomorrow it might be somewhere else. And we could have developed a template and said, look, we have gone through this route before. This is the template we want to use. We've been a friend of the Aqua Bomb state government for some time now. Uh, as a company, we've been here for 20 years. Uh, we've been operating in Aqua Bomb since 2017. We've had the privilege of knowing the former government through His Excellency, the former governor, and now also with yourself. And we're here only to just carry on the relationship, but not only carry on, but build on it. Um, we are very open to understanding the needs of the people, understanding the agenda of the government, understanding the key initiatives. Um, and so as we move along, we will share with you what we are doing today in terms of project development. We will share with you what we are doing in terms of community development. We will share with you what we are doing in terms of employment. We will share with you our way forward and few key areas that we may ask and appeal for your support. As government. I praise God that you are a pastor. Yeah. And I thank God for your strong Christian focus. In fact, uh, you're even wearing a little tie pin of a cross. Um, I noticed a number of your colleagues are very strong belief in God and in what He can do through people. Uh, Your Excellency, Seventh-day Adventists are people of the book, uh, the Bible. So you can easily understand our efforts to try to, through God's power, follow the example of Jesus. Uh, the example of helping people physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. And Your Excellency, I want to dearly appreciate and thank you and this state for the religious liberty that it affords all people who are uh, citizens of this great state. So this partnership for me is um, critical and I want to thank the EDC for considering this partnership with us. I want to thank um, the DG who has attracted this partnership. We want to continue to ask for more of this support so as to make sure that we realize fully the vision that we have set out and at the end of the day Ibon Led can truly say we have developed our SMEs. We welcome this partnership, we look forward to working with you and um, we trust that at the end of the day um, it will be a mutually beneficial relationship to all of us. Mentors of Women program that we have, it's, um, it's a laudable and initiative we are working with the Transforming Nigeria Youth Program, Mastercard Foundation. I'm sure when you know Mastercard, you know what it is all about. We want to see how we can train 10,000 young women. We select the women working with the Ibum led women, select the women, train them. They go through a stage that after that, they will even benefit from other support services. They will have their company registered for them. They will have trademark done for them. They will have websites developed for them. They will have social media managers manage their website for them. They have all sorts of benefits just as part of this partnership. Administration focuses on the Arise agenda. For me and for us and our team, we're focusing very strongly security. COVID taught us a big lesson that the day came in the world where there was no movement for almost two years. And you could imagine where people went. We believe that our state can provide our own food. God has blessed us with good weather, green we all year round, and we want to take full advantage of it. Earlier today, we signed an agreement with some guy farms in Port Novo, and we are building some guy model type farm in Aquaibon State. <laughs>